Hello everyone. I would like to start by expressing my gratitude to the CNCF organization for hosting this session and to all of you for taking the time to watch this presentation. My name is Matt and I'm excited to discuss a topic that's deeply connected to my current work, optimizing security and performance with an API gateway and backend services. In today's distributed systems, APIs are the backbone of modern software architectures. And however, um, this also brings challenges, problems, and such as ensuring robust security and high performance. Uh, drawing my hands-on experience using Kong Gateway as an API gateway in real-world projects, I will share how its powerful features like traffic routing, rate limiting, and monitoring can help tackle these challenges. By the end of this session, you will be equipped with practical strategies to integrate Kong Gateway into your systems and enhance your API management practices, uh, I hope. Uh, before we get started, I would like to introduce myself a bit. I'm a software developer with over 10 years of experience, passionate about continuous learning and exploring software architectures. My expertise spans backend development generally, I focus on building scalable systems, leveraging many tools and libraries. I'm also deeply involved in cloud solutions, deploying production-ready applications on different platforms. Uh, beyond coding, I actively share insights through blogs, videos, podcasts, and contribute to open source projects. Speaking at conferences and engaging with community fills my drive to innovate and collaborate. I really like the community in this way. Let's uh, dive into the deep our topic. Uh, as software developers, we often find ourselves balancing two critical yet sometimes conflicting priorities, performance and security. High performing systems are crucial for our user satisfaction, of course, but they can't come at the expense of leaving vulnerabilities unaddressed. Similarly, airtight security measures are essential, but they must not create the bottlenecks that frustrate users or hinder scalability. Striking this balance is less of embody in every project we undertake. Our approach is rooted in a constant evolution of cost-benefit trade-offs. Security always starts as a priority, of course, ensuring that core systems are protected against potential threats. Yet, every security layer, whether it's data encryption, request validation, or access control, introduces an operational cost. This cost isn't just about infrastructure, it also, it's also about performance, overhead, development time, and maintain its effort. To make informed decisions, we analyze which measures provide the most value for their cost. For instance, in high traffic environments like the one I mentioned earlier, we have learned to segment functionality based on its critically. APIs exposed to external users require tight security measures, while internal services may prioritize speed and efficiency. By adopting this layered and modular approach, we ensure that performance doesn't suffer unnecessarily while maintaining a robust defense against vulnerabilities. Ultimately, our guiding principle is this. No system can excel without balance. Overloading a system with security can lead to inefficiency while ignoring it for the sake of speed invites risks that no team can afford. Our job as software engineers is to navigate this tension thoughtfully, leveraging both the technical tools and the collective experience of the team. This philosophy allows us to create solutions that are not only fast and secure, but also sustainable and scalable in the long run. Um, we will cover the general topic of the optimizing security and performance with fundamental concept that underpins underpins our discussion, the API gateway itself. In the complex world of modern, um, in the complex of uh, modern software or world, 
where microservices are at the core of the most architecture, managing communication between services can quickly become overwhelming. This is where the NAPI gateway comes in, acting the central hub for all clients' requests. It doesn't just route traffic, it ensures that requests are properly authenticated, provides security policies, and even monitors the traffic flowing between the services. Without the API gateway, the clients would need to interact with each microservice individually, which would lead to inefficiency and increased complexity. In one of the projects I personally worked on, he moved from a monolithic architecture to microservice-based system, system, and introducing an API gateway was a critical step in making that migration successful. Although we won't cover the details of multi to microservice migration in this session, it's worth mentioning that CNCF webinars offers excellent contents and videos on both multi and microservices architectures. I highly recommend checking them out if you are interested in the learning more about those topics. Think of it like this. In a traditional monolithic application, everything lives in a single unit, right? So communication between components in, is straightforward, actually. But as we break down systems into smaller parts, more manageable parts, microservices, the complexity grows. This is uh, inevitable. Clients no longer know which specific service to contact for their need, and managing multiple endpoints directly would be cumbersome for us. The API Gateway serves as a single entry point, simplifying this complexity, ensuring the security, and helping to maintain performance by efficiently routing traffic. It's not just about traffic, as I said, it's not just about traffic routing. It is about ensuring that your distributed system functions smoothly, securely, and at scale. So why is the API gateway essential? Let's explore deeply. I, uh, I want to share some insights into the scale of our projects I've been working on and the challenges we encountered along the way. This system handles an average of 100 million transactions per day, combining database operations and HTTP requests together, and processes around 519 gigabytes of data daily. At this magnitude, the cracks in a multi architecture become evident very um, quickly. Performance bottlenecks, difficulty in scaling specific components, and limited fault tolerance were just some of the issues we faced. For instance, a single application managing this level of traffic meant that even minor updates required a complete system deployment, introducing inefficiencies and increasing downtime risks, and we didn't want to take these risks, such as risks. Handling pro uh, security policies like authentication or rate limiting within individual components also become unsustain unsustainable due to growing complexity. This is why moving to a microservice architecture backed by an API gateway was cru crucial for us. It was so important for us. By breaking down to monolithic structure into in independently scalable services, we reduce interdependencies and improved system reliability, actually. The API gateway acted as a traffic conductor, centralizing chain functions. This not only ensured consistent security across service, but also offloaded resource-intensive tasks, enabling the microservices to focus solely on their core functionalities. Moreover, the monitoring and observability tools provided by the API Gateway allowed us to track traffic patterns and detect potential bottlenecks proactively. Without these architectural changes, managing a system of this scale would have been almost impossible, both in terms of performance and security. So, when deciding the right API gateway for our system, we evaluated multiple options, but Con Gateway quickly stood out as the optimal choice for us. One of the key reasons for this decision was its flexibility and performance. Kong is built on Nginx a high-performance proxy server, which ensures it can handle the scale and speed required for our system. 
processing hundreds of millions of transactions daily with ease. Another major factor was its open source foundation as part of the CNCF ecosystem. Being a CNCF project evolving, um, being a CNCF project means con gateway adheres to best practices and it is constantly developing through contributions from a global community of developers, which aligns perfectly with our philosophy of leveraging open source solutions. Also, Kong's extensive plugin system was another uh, critical reason behind our choice. With over 40 ready to use plugins, ranging from authentication and rate limiting to logging and monitoring, Kong Gateway allowed us to customize and extend its functionality to fit our specific needs. For example, we could seamlessly integrate features like OAuth 2 authentication or implement custom traffic throttling policies without writing complex code from scratch. It's so obvious for us. This is modular approach gave us the power to adapt the gateway to our microservice architecture while maintaining the constant consistent and secure API layer. Another standout feature was its ease of deployment and configuration. Kong Gateway supports both declarative and database-based configurations, making it simple to integrate into our CI/CD pipelines. This flexibility in deployment combined with its ability to run in container containerized environment matched our development practices perfectly. In the next part of the, this session, we will dive deeper. In the next part of this slide, we will dive deeper into the Kong plugin system, exploring how its modularity empowers teams to address unique challenges and optimize API traffic with a minimal effort. So, in every software project, ensuring security and maintaining performance are not just about goals, but necessities, cornerstones of any successful system. Security is about uh, security is about safeguarding systems against unauthorized access, prevent preventing uh, malicious activities, and ensuring data integrity. This involves a range of practices from implementing robust authentication mechanism to restricting access and shielding APIs from threats like bots, excessive requests or injection attacks that could uh, jeopardize the system. Beyond compliance with regulations, these measures foster user trust, which is indispensable in today's interconnected world. On the other hand, performance focuses on delivering a seamless, responsible experience for users, even when systems have face heavy loads. This entails optimizing response times for us, acti effectively managing traffic distribution, caching frequently access resources, and minimizing latency wherever possible. Performance isn't just about speed, it's, it's about scalability, reliability, and ensuring that the system grows with demand without compromising user satisfaction, right? However, achieving both security and performance often creates a delicate balancing act. Powering security can sometimes add overhead, potentially impacting performance while focusing solely on speed might expose vulnerabilities. This dual challenge requires not only strategic planning, but also use the right tools and technologies to strike a balance that evolves with changing demands on, of the project. No matter the scale or industry, finding this stability remains a universal yet project-specific challenge or some programming languages. A continuous and thoughtful approach is so important as for us, the developers. One of the most powerful features of the Kong Gateway is its plugin system, which has been a game-changer in managing our large-scale project. With over 40 pre-built plugins and able to create custom ones, Kong provides unparalleled flexibility to tailor the gateway according to our specific needs. These plugins cover a wide range of functionalities from uh, security and authentication or to traffic control, caching and monitoring, ma making Kong not just an API gateway but an integ integral part of the architecture for our architecture in our project where we handle over 
100 million daily transactions, this plugin system has provided critical solutions to some of our most complex challenges. For instance, implementing rent limiting helped us manage high traffic volumes without overwhelming our backend services, ensuring consistent performance even during traffic spikes. The caching plugin drastically reduced latency for frequently requested responses, improving our user experience and reducing the load on our microservices. The ability to deploy security plugins like key authentication and OAuth2 allowed us to enforce robust access control policies across all APIs, safeguarding sensitive data while maintaining ease of use for authorized clients, of course. Additionally, plugins like Request Transformer helped sanitize and modify incoming requests, preventing potential threats from reaching our backend. What makes Kong's plugin system particularly powerful is its modularity and simplicity. Plugins can be enabled or disabled per service, allowing us to fine-tune configurations based on the unique requirements of each API. So, for example, some services logging and monitoring. This flexibility meant that we didn't need to write custom code for every feature for every service for each service. Uh, saving development time and reducing complexity, it's uh, wonderful for us. for us. In summary, Kong's plugin system is not just a feature but a cornerstone of its architecture. It has enabled us to tackle challenges with depression, streamline processes and enhance both security and performance in ways that would have been far more uh, complex without it. In the dynamic landscape of API management, flexibility often determines success. Kong Gateway's custom plugin system is an example for this principle, offering developers for freedom to design and implement solutions that align perfectly with their specific needs. While Kong's extensive library of building plugins addresses a wide range of scenarios, the ability to go beyond standard options is what truly sets it apart. Which, with Kong, Creating custom plugins is both accessible with and versatile. Uh, developers can use Lua, Kong's native language, for lightweight and efficient extensions. For more complex requirements, Go and JavaScript provide additional power and flexibility, enabling teams to align plugin development with their existing expertise and workflows. In my own experience with a large-scale project, this Capability was transformative. We faced unique challenges that couldn't be addressed with standard plugins, so we built custom solutions for it. One such plugin dynamically analyzed and modified the request payload based on intricate business logic, streamlining interactions between services. Another plugin implemented obvious logging for high traffic APIs, providing critical insights into performance and security metrics. What makes this system remarkable is its ability to simplify complexity by offloading tasks like rate limiting, caching, or even traffic shaping to Kong's plugin layer, we reduce the workload on individual services, allowing them to focus on their core functionalities. This not only improved performance but also enhanced maintainability and scalability. Kong's custom plugin system transforms it from a tool into a platform for innovation actually. Whether you are crafting advanced security measures, optimizing performance or embedding business specific logic, the possibilities are virtually limitless. For any team navigating the complexity of modern architectures, these features is an essential part of success. Uh, before wrapping up, I want to highlight one of the last feature that has significantly streamlined our API management process Kong Manager. Uh, this intuitive user interface simplifies the otherwise complex task of managing services, routes, and plugins. Instead of relying solely on the command line or configuration files, Kong Manager provides a clear and accessible way to oversee and control our API ecosystem with uh, Kong Manager. Tasks like configuring plugins and setting up authentication or monitoring traffic become more visual and straightforward. It has been particularly useful in collaborative environments and for the teams where not every team member is comfortable with command line tools. 
Additionally, its ability to integrate role-based access control ensures that each team member can access only what they need, further enhancing security. In my experience, this tool has saved our team countless hours and allowed us to maintain a seamless workflow even than, than managing a system as complex as ours. Comp Manager is an example of how the right tools can transform challenges into the opportunities for efficiency and innovation. Uh, at the core of Kong Gateways functionality, and we will see this title in the Kong uh, Manager, lies a suite of features designed to streamline and enhance API management. Services act as the foundation representing the upstream APIs that Kong proxies. They allow us to define and manage our backend services with clarity and control. Uh, complementing services are roads, the, which determine how requests are matched and directed routes enable us to efficiently guide incoming traffic to the appropriate services based on defined rules. Equally important are consumers, which represent the clients or users interacting with our APIs. Through consumers, uh, we can apply specific authentication methods, rate limits or custom policies tailored to their needs. This granular level of control ensures secure and personal interactions, actually. Uh, Kong's plugin system is what transforms it from a gateway into a powerhouse. Plugins can be applied to services, routes, or consumers to add functionalities such as logging, rate limiting, or authentication. We just saw that the plugin system is. This modular approach allows us to meet evolving requirements without disrupting the core system. On the performance side, Upstreams allows us to implement load balancing by defining targets for each service. This ensures scalability and reliability, even under high traffic loads. By combining these element services, routes, consumers, and plugins, and upstreams, they provide a comprehensive toolkit for managing modern APIs. In our projects, these features have been invaluable for achieving the success for us and balance between performance and security. They provide the structure and flexibility we need to adapt complex scenarios while ensuring that our APIs remain responsive, reliable, and secure. Uh, I have prepared a demo for you. This will highlight how we use this gateway to manage our API ecosystem efficiently and tackle the challenges we have discussed today. Let's dive in and explore the practical side together, actually. Uh, let's check out our demo now. Uh, at the moment, I haven't installed the Kong Gateway and its configuration database. I'm gonna do make it with the, a quick start base script with this command line. It will be install the PostgreSQL database for the configuration and Kong Gateway itself. Uh, it will be running in the Docker containers, so Ultimately, as a result, we will have two containers will be running. Let's check out. I just run the this comment. After that, we will need to create the services for the routes and some plugins to show the example what I try to do. We will wait for the, a few seconds. Okay, it's ready. At the moment, I would like to show my examples with the Kong Manager, which has the user interface. We can see directly it like 80 and 02 port. As you see, our workspace is ready to create services. The first things first, we need to have a service. Let's create a new one in the default workspace. At the moment, and uh, this user interface the user interface is working on the local system. I'm going to create an um, a gateway service. Gateway service can improve the performance, security, and skill of your APIs by load balancing traffic, optimizing routing, and authentication, authorization, and distributing traffic. Uh, my service name is will be example service, and the URL will be the an example mocking url it will be running like that what you request you will get the response exactly 
Under this page, you will see the route uh, category here. And for this service, we should create a new route because APS cannot be think, cannot be pictured by without the routes. I'm going to create a new route for this service. You can see the URL, uh, services endpoint, and our service ID. And it will be like uh, mocking and the path will be the mock. That's the steps what we need. After this, I need to do reach this service as a proxy. For example, I'm going to use Insomnia for this and as a HTTP client. When I request this URL, I will see my request as a response actually. Let's check out. As you see, we get the response directly and we can see the headers. For example, I'm going to add the cache plugin after a while and we will see new headers here or rate limiting. We can add the plugins directly here. At the moment, we can uh, request the, our mock services, backend services directly. Now I go to the API gateway as a Kong and the Kong will be redirected to that it will be proxy this request to the backend services. At the moment it will be working like this. So the Kong at the headers and uh, response headers itself. Now I'm gonna create the plugins by one Y. What do we need? For example, we can make a create a plugin with the rate limiting. So what is our purpose? I want to make the request for this endpoint for only for uh, five times for a minute, for each minute. Let's check out. And as you see, we can go to the routes page. And as you see, there is a new category here, plugins. And I'm going to enable this route. So the our URL like this, routes and route ID. And I'm going to add, enable a new plugin for this route. For example, we can add the rate limiting here and we can search it. Rate limits. By the way, as you can see, there are some active enable and passive enable because some of plugins is uh, you can use the enterprise con gateway. At the moment, we are using open source, uh, open source uh, version. That's why some of the enabled are active and some of disabled. Now I'm going to add the rate limiting. Rate limit how many HTTP requests a developer can make. It will be, we can make it scoped uh, specific gateway services, routes or consumers or all services, routes and consumers. I'm going to make it global or scoped as you see our route ID here. But I'm going to make it global. And for example, we can make it a uh, minute. Let's say five. So I'm going to make six requests and I'm going to get the error for the rate from the rate limit. And there are another options, months, seconds or hours. And according to your scenario, there are some advanced parameters here you can check out. For example, you can store the data from these limitation values in the Redis or other uh, connection services. You can make it. For example, I just saved here and the rate limiting plugin is enabled for all services and routes. Let's check out. And we will see the, a new response header uh, fields here. As you see, uh, rate limiting uh, remaining minute uh, four, uh, rate limit limit five, rate limit minute five, and rate limit remaining four. Let's check out three, two, one, and it was the last uh, chance to request. After this, you will get the HTTP 429 two minute requests. And we need to wait for a few seconds and I'm gonna make I'm gonna make be able to new request for this endpoint as you see it will be refreshed 
API read limit SKZ. Of course, uh, you can format and transform this response according to your scenario. Now, uh, we can add a new plugin. For example, what is my list? It's proxy caching. It's so easy. So response will be uh, cached by the concrete way, and it will be there will be a strategy. For example, you can store this response into memory or redis or any store database you can make it but i'm going to use the strategy as a memory for example uh, i just click the new plugin button and what one application for example proxy caching it will be the same global and Content and text and plain and application JSON will be cached. Uh, strategy memory and also there are some advanced parameters. You can change these values according to your custom scenarios. And I just saved and we will see new response headers here. For example, X cache key and X cache status. And at the moment, the response is getting from the, the cache system and memory. Okay, I just enabled the ch proxy caching here. Now I'm gonna make the uh, a security plugin. It is key authentication. So we will uh, define a key and we will define a client. This client will be able to reach our APIs only with this key. Install plugin. Write key authentication plugin. I'm gonna go to the. I'm gonna make this will be work only for this route. So that's why I go to the routing page and I just click the mocking my route. And plugins category, and new plugin. Here, uh, K authentication, it will be scoped and okay, key name will be API key. Just add. Then I go to the key authentication plugin uh, page. You will see the configuration here. And I'm going to add the consumer actually here new consumers let's say con okay the username and custom id will be consumer when you go to the consumer page you will see the credential and category here and new key out credential here because it will be need to send this value I'm gonna make this CNCF key. Okay, this consumer will be able to our route with only this API key. Let's check out. I just I'm gonna just send the request without the API key, and I the response and uh, response address status is changed. HTTP HTTP status code is changed. Because we will, we won't send the, we didn't send the API key value. Let's add a new value, for example, test. As you see, the unauthorized because our API key value is wrong. I'm gonna make it at the CNCF. After that, I'm able to reach um, to my backend services with this API key. Also, we will be able to, to add, uh, for example, upstreams, so load balancing, if we would have a, B, a few services with the scalability, we can upstream the according to the request. Uh, for the um, performance and the security, the, there are some plugins here for you can uh, reach and you can use the mini plugin here according to your chase and your scenario but the first thing um, performance and security i use the key authentication uh, proxy caching and the rate limiting of course always 
I use response transformer in my project and I use correlation ID for the and tracing the request. So you can use the you can check out the, this uh, plugin system. I really like this and it's easy to integrate the, your backend services without writing any code. It is uh, brilliant and attractive for us. And uh, my presentation is like this for the example. I hope you learned new things about and new perspectives about the API gateways and the backend services management with the API gateway because when you uh, break down from multi to microservices, you need to do a centralized hub like an API gateway. And in this way, in this plugin system, you can boost your performance and security layers with the, your team because the Conf Manager workspace uh, mechanism is really easy to help to your um, big and magnitude project and the teams. I hope you will you learned new things and new perspectives from this session. Thank you for taking your time. Bye bye.